Okay, this is a catch-up for assignment one. If you missed it or need um, to see it again uh, and can watch it back at your leisure, this is addition, and we are going to, first off, I want to show you how to record on addition. I In class, I had you record on the H6s, the zooms, extract that file and dump it in. But for this, I might as well show you how you can record directly into Audition. And forgive me if I say Audacity because it's so similar, I keep mixing them up. So in Adobe Audition Preferences, you have audio hardware, and then this box comes up. So this is, you're going to tell Audition that you want this selected as your input. There are going to be many choices there. Now, my, I'm choosing my Scarlett Solo USB interface. So it's a analog to digital converter. This microphone is plugged into it. It is plugged into my laptop, my MacBook Pro, and Audition sees it as an input. So we're choosing that. And for the purposes of recording this video, I'm using Ecamm Live, so I want to send the audio back to Ecamm Live so that it ends up really crisp and nice in this video. That's why I've chosen that. So let's just hit OK. Let's choose a new multi-track session. We'll call it Assignment 1. And there you go. We have all these multi-tracks here. Now, in class, I asked you to dump your file in. And, but here I'm going to actually record directly into Audition. You see, when I hit this little R here, I've activated this track to record my microphone. You can see the level coming in. As soon as I did that, when I, when I click it away, you don't see it. And when I click it up, now there's level coming into that track. So all I have to do is go down here and hit the record button. And I am laying a track in here. I'm doing a voiceover right in here. And I'm going to do a pretend introduction for a podcast. I'm just going to make something up. I'm going to riff. It's not scripted. Hey, everybody. Dan Tebow from Fast Twitch Media. And today I'm going to have the UMass Lowell podcast debut right here, right on the show. Glad to have you. Let's get into it. All right. I didn't think that through, so... It is what it is. Hey, everybody, Dan Tebow from Fast Twitch Media. And today I'm going to have the UMass Lowell podcast debut right here, right on the show. Glad to have you. Let's get into it. So I'm going to show you how to compress this file again. So with this track selected, we're going to go into waveform for now because it's You'll get a really good visual on this. So you can see there's some lower volume areas and some higher volume areas. So compression deals with the dynamic range of a file from the highest volume to the lowest volume or the highest level to the lowest level of that track. That is your dynamic range. And compression tries to bring the uh, the loudest points down and the softest points up so that it's very consistent. So let's go into effects, amplitude and compression. And then we're going to try this single band compressor. And if we set it to, to, to default, let's see what happens. So you come up to this little dialog box and you hit default and let's apply that. I really don't see much of a change. I'm going to go back into effects. I'm going to go into amplitude and compression right back to where we were and single band compressor. So I'm going to bring this down to about minus 5 dB. I'm going to bring the ratio up to 4 to 1. I'm going to leave these two settings alone. And I'm right now I'm going to keep the output gain at 0. Let's apply that. Hey, everybody, Dan Tebow. I think we need to be a little bit more aggressive. There, 
I think that's starting to Hey, look everybody, better. Dan Tebow from Fast Twitch Media. And today I'm going to have the UMass Lowell podcast debut right here, right on the show. I'm even going to go a little bit hotter there. So let's go back here. A single band, sorry. Now I'm at minus 14 dB. Okay, that's starting to look good. Hey everybody, Dan Tebow from Fast Twitch Media. And today I'm going to have the UMass Lowell podcast debut right here, right on the show. Glad to have you. I'm really kind of happy with that, but I'm also now going to throw a limiter on there too, just to get these spikes out of there. So Let's see, where are we here? Hey everybody, TV Dan wise. Tebow from Fast Twitch Media. Looking down here, I can see that and Today we're... I'm going to have the UMass Lowell podcast. It's peaking out at negative nine, so I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to limit it at a minus 11. So the next effect is also in the same uh, menu area of amplitude and compression and then hard limiter. And, oh, look where it's set. Okay. Oh, I had this set before, so uh, that's not default. I had this set before. So let's try that at 10. Let's see if we cut that clip down there right there. Yep. See that? That's a thing of beauty. Hey, everybody. Dan Tebow from... Okay, so if we go back to multitrack, we've treated that file with compression and limiter. Now, the other thing we did in class was we dumped in this uh, music bed called Gospel Vibe. And let's do that. And I am going to lower the volume on this track right away by going to this little level icon here and tweaking it. I'm moving my, my, keep, my trackpad. I'm fingering it over to the uh, left. So let's see what we get for a level there. Hey everybody, Dan Tebow from Fast Twitch Media, and today I'm gonna. Okay, um, I like where I come in. I don't like a lot of music uh, heading an intro, leading up to an intro. I like it to come in really quick. I want to hear somebody's voice right away. But the music bed is competing with me, my voice over very quickly there. So let's uh, put a fade in there, shall we? I'm going to. Grab this yellow line is the volume bar. And I clicked on it and I created that little blue insertion point. And I click on it again and I've got another point. Now I can drop that volume right down like that. Hey everybody, Dan Tebow from Fast Twitch Media. And today I'm gonna have the UMass Lowell podcast debut right here, right on the show. Glad to have you. Let's get into it. Okay, so. I'm going to bring the volume up here now. Um, let me just bring it back up. And let's pretend there was a show. Let's pre pretend there was some content. And then eventually uh, we're going to fade this back out. And now I am going to create my outro. And first I'm going to mute this track. So these buttons are to uh, enable it to record. And to mute, so M is mute, and you see it went gray. And S is, if, excuse me, if you want to solo that track. If you, you know, if you had 10 tracks there and you only want to hear one, you don't want to mute all the other ones, you just hit S, and you will take that, you'll uh, gray out all the others, and that one will be uh, live. So let's start my, uh, my outro here, right around there. Okay, here we go. That's it. That was our first show, UMass Lowell. Hey, don't forget to rate and review us on Apple. Share this with your friends. And we always love to hear from our listeners. So hit me at dtbo 59 at gmail.com. Till next time. So now we have an outro. And we'll put this track back to being live. And now my track sounds like this. Now, remember, I did not compress or limit that track. That new track. Hey, everybody. Dan Tebow from Fast Twitch Media. 
And today I'm going to have the UMass Lowell podcast debut right here, right on the show. Glad to have you. Let's get into it. That's it. I love where that drops off because you can hear the xylophone chiming in there. And I can do a couple of different things. I could move these points out, but I like that spot. I like where it's, where it's dumping out. So I'm just going to grab the track and move it this way. That's it. That was our first show, UMass Lowell. Hey, don't... That's a little off. Right about, right about there. This matters. I, I believe that it matters where voice comes in and goes out. And on the music, I always like it to happen on, on a beat or an interesting part of the music bed. That's it. That was our first show, UMass Lowell. Hey, don't forget to rate and review us on Apple. Share this with your friends. And we always love to hear from our listeners. So hit me at dtbo 59 at gmail.com. Till next time. All right, so we'll have the music come back up. Where's my bar? Here it is. And we're going to have it come back up. And then we're going to want it to fade. But I want to do something interesting here. The Let's go to the end of this file and listen to how it ends, because I just love the way it dissolves at the end. So on my keyboard, I am hitting the minus button up in the upper right there. And I'm going to see the end of the file. There it is right there. So uh, let's see, how will I do that? I'm going to cut it. I'm going to cut it right about here. So let's go up and grab our razor blade and we'll just nip it right about there. Okay, go back to the selection tool. And I am going to, uh, let me, wait a minute. Okay, for some reason I couldn't do it with the selection tool. I'm gonna come way back here with that. And then I'm gonna go back to the selection tool and I'm gonna just grab this guy and pull it right in. Whoops. gmail.com. Till next time. Okay, that doesn't match there. So let's drill in. Now I'm to go back in to come out. I was hitting the, the minus button. Now in the upper right, I'm hitting the equal button. And let's see. Right, oh, that little warble there. How about, let's try this. Now, also, if I keep dragging this track and layer it over the first one, we it's the same track, but we cut it. Do you see these little yellow lines there? That's what's called a crossfade. And that's what I, I really like this about Audition is that it, it, it creates this instant crossfade just by dragging the two tracks over each other. Till next time. Oh, I see it. Okay, so... Let's do this. Let's come back in this way a little bit and try that again. Really close. Just going to take a little bit of mess in here. Let's try that. Okay, I haven't done this yet, so bear with me. Let's try that. Okay, so I just I just like the way it dissolves. Uh, it's not perfect right there, but you get the idea. You can mess with that, and you can take an audio file and break it up and make it sound like it belongs there. So that's what we did, and that's it. That's assignment one. I want something from you that's creative. I want it in your voice. I want your name on it. Uh, oh, we forgot to uh, do that. But you know, uh, I would go back and I would, uh, I probably would, wouldn't would have to do this anyway because I probably just would record the whole thing. But I should go back in there and apply the compression and the limiter to this side over here to the outro. But that's it. Thanks for watching.